Hey everyone, welcome to a little, something a little, a little special. We're not doing our normal Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Sunday streams. We're doing a Saturday Metroid Prime themed one shot uh, using Dungeons and Dragons. So I am joined by three wonderful gamers and fellow Metroid fans. So uh, we're going to introduce ourselves and uh, like our favorite, I guess, either favorite Metroid game or just favorite thing about Metroid and uh, our characters slash roles and then a fun fact about ourselves if you want. So I'll start. My name's Layla. My favorite Metroid game is probably like a tie between Metroid Prime and Metroid Dread. Um, part of the reason why we're doing it themed off, the, off this game. And then, um, uh, I'm the game master, obviously. I control everything. I am God. Deal with it. <laughs> I'm kidding. And, uh, yeah, fun fact about me. Um, I do YouTubing on my own time, uh, outside of this. So, check me out. Uh, have, my YouTube channel is called Slingshot, and I'm currently doing a Super Mario RPG remake playthrough. So, let's have our, um... Three players uh, introduce themselves. Who would like to go first? Um, I can uh, go. Hello? hello? You, should, you should turn that down. You can barely... Hello? Y'all good? Oh. oh, okay. The music's a little loud on their end. One sec. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I can go. Um, yeah. I... Um, I'm Jack. I am playing as a character named Rahama Ashgarche, which may or may not have some significance in the Chozo language. Who knows? <laughs> um, favorite Metroid game? I would probably tie between Fusion and Prime 1 at this point. Um, and then I guess, fun fact, um, I'm on the Shug Splatoon team, so we may or may not stream at some point, but uh, I'll keep an eye out. Hello? 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 Yeah, I, can you turn that down a little bit? Uh, hold on, one Sean, second. just... What's that? Sean, just mute bong, mute bongo. Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah. We got... You can also decrease the volume on exactly. bongo. Exactly, yeah. Bongo's causing problems again. Oh god, if I had... <laughs> okay, yeah, if I turn vo bongo to max volume, I would just lose my hearing. Oh, absolutely. I just tried it for a split yeah. second. I have it... I have it on 50. Yeah, that's what I... I always keep it at 50. All right. All right. And... Last but not least. <laughs> uh, my name is Kyle. Uh, I quite like Metroid. My favorite one's probably either Dread or Super. And uh, yeah. All right. Wonderful. Okay. Uh. Thank you. Uh, obviously, if you guys have watched our streams slash videos in the past, you're familiar with Jack. I'd like to thank Sean and Kyle for joining us uh, for today's session. Um, so, yeah, we're about to get the things uh, uh, started. So, if you guys are wondering why exactly this is Metroid Prime theme and not just Metroid, because uh, we're recreating the intro to Metroid Prime. So, and by that, I mean... Our lovely party here uh, has uh, has been essentially hired by the Galactic Federation to investigate a uh, have been invest uh, sorry have been hired to investigate a rogue frigate that is uh, orbiting around uh, a planet known as Talon Four. It has sent an emergency distress signal, but the Federation is not quite sure what this vessel is and so uh you have been uh the the party has been sent to investigate as uh talon 4 is the same uh is in the same uh system as the planet zevis which the events of the first metroid game have tra transpired all three of you are aware of uh the lone bounty hunter named samus aaron who was uh a few years ago was hired to uh, take on the space pirates and she was able to successfully do that on planet Zebus and was able to defeat Mother Brain and her two commanders Craig and Ridley along with destroying the entire um, uh, 
uh, factory operations. However, it is rumored that several uh, ships did escape from Zebus before um, the Space Pirates headquarters was destroyed. And so now it is believed that this is one of those frigates that has been found. So, welcome everyone to the Frigate Orpheum. And so you all arrive. Oh, let me let me get a better view for the audience here. This is this is our lovely ship, currently orbiting the planet known as Talon Four. And you all start in the docking bay right down here, in which I will uh, reveal your characters. Just a second. So all three of you step out of your ship and uh, currently uh, standing before you all is a uh, front gate. This uh, strange, um, this um, energy field uh, with uh, four, um, with four red lights on it. And currently, everything uh, outside of that and your ship, the uh, entire bay is empty and quiet. What would you like to do? Um, uh, do we... There you can go, I'm sorry. Oh, let's sh uh, I would like to shoot the lights. <laughs> no, so no, no hesitation, just shoot the lights. No, just, yeah, anyway, I started blasting. Um, All right. Kinda, yeah, so... I'm just immediately going in. I'm like, looks All about right. right. All right. Um. Yeah. So, uh, Rahama, you uh, you immediately raise your arm cannon and shoot one of the lights, and it proceeds to turn yeah, and, green. And I do not notify anyone before I do. I just start shooting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gold Striker and Shadow Force. Uh, you 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 both see as your uh uh new uh coworker partner tentative uh just immediately starts blasting the lights without without any. <laughs> Without any <laughs> any uh, input from you guys, and I did I only blast one? Uh, uh, at first, yes, yeah. You only just shot one, okay, and it cool. immediately turns green. All right, I'd like to try to shoot all three yeah. to show off. <laughs> all right, all right. So, um, you go and do that, and once that happens. With all three, uh, with uh, the other three uh, lights turned green, the gate proceeds to immediately open. Woo. Perfect. So now, now basically, this area is uh, traversable, so you, can, you guys can walk to the next platform up here. Yeah. It's a pretty can typical I, lousy security for mm -hmm. space pirates. Can I, can I, can I grab um, Gold Striker's hand? Just like hold it. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right, me and Gold Striker are now holding hands. Love to see that. All right, um, uh, we we join uh, Hama in the next room. All right, yeah, you uh, so yeah, you can click on your uh, are you able to click on your tokens? Uh, um, if you're in the like move like the uh uh pan view mode, you need to move it, to change it back oh, to select. Yeah, yeah there, there we you go. go. Click on the the pointer clicker, Kyle. Yeah, I think you're on the drawing tools. Too. Yeah, that's yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm here. Uh, I made it. And I just kind of look at them like, oh my god, but uh, you know, yeah. it's um, How Rahama dare. is not gonna be homophobic. Rahama is just annoyed. <laughs> is just annoyed exactly. easily by anyone. Hey, it's just guys being dudes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so and they can um, be holding hands platonically. We don't exactly, know. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you guys walk over to this area and once again, you see another gate, uh, with four, uh, with four more, uh, red lights. You guys want to scan it? Oh yeah, we do have the option to, uh, scan, but, hmm. Dang, Honestly, I don't particularly care to, but if you all want to, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, can I can I scan it? Yep. All right. So and you get to like immediately like stop me from immediately shooting it, so you get the chance to. 
All right. Uh, so you uh, are you scanning the force field or the uh, lights? Uh, can I scan the top left light? Okay. So you scan one of the lights, and uh, uh, after scanning it for like a couple seconds, you get a text that says, "Switch red." This switch is directly connected to the force field barrier. So basically, just confirming what you guys saw once these switches were, um, these switches are currently activated, meaning they are the things controlling the force field. And I'm like, oh, well, what do you know? And I just blast all four. All right, so you blast all four of them and turn them green. However, nothing happens. The, for the force field is still there. Uh, and in fact, let me see, uh, who's the closest one? Uh, Shadow Farce, right behind, is it Shadow Farce or Shadow Force? Farce. Okay, all right. Cool. All right. Uh, right behind you, in fact, or right next to you, is uh, this. You see a, uh, a panel of sorts. Can I scan it? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, actually, wait. Anytime you guys want to scan something, just roll perception on your character sheets. Uh, okay. Cool. And then the results should show up in your in the chat. Yeah. Um, you would just pull up the um character sheet, and it'll be on like the front of it, like the first screen. Yeah, like if you want, just like scroll down and then just click on the thing that like, says um, perception. I'm not yet aware of it, so yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. I was gonna see if I just had. If All I right. To also, it. uh. That's right, Roll20 does this really stupid thing when they're like, ah, yes, we're going to make it so that you always roll in advantage. I'm going to, let me do that. I'm going to edit your guys' character sheets real quick. Just so, um, that way, like, uh, basically for those uh, uninformed, advantage means you get to re-roll and take the highest, uh, the, you get the highest, uh, take the highest roll, but roll 20 automatically, like, does it. It's weird, so, um, I'm just making it so that you guys can, uh, you guys have a toggle so that you can choose, uh, if it's advantage, normal, or disadvantage. What is... I don't know if y'all heard that, but there was some weird... I don't know... Oh! Who was shooting out fireworks? What is that? Oh my god. Talk about immersion breaking. <laughs> okay, so the first... I mean, give it another 10 minutes and it won't be, but... Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, all right, we'll just take the first uh, roll from Gold Striker's perception check. So you... Uh, actually, wait, no, no. It was uh, uh, Shadow Farce who was, uh, roll, uh, who was scanning it. So, perception of 12? Yeah, you uh, scan this, and uh, it shows as the uh, control panel. And uh, it now reads, force field activation switches are now online. And so, uh, two more, uh, uh, Gold Striker and Rahama, both of you then see two more uh, la... Uh, uh, switches appear right on top of the four that were already shot. Alright, I I, I, uh, I flip one of those switches. Alright, you're gonna you're gonna shoot those. Yeah, and I'll shoot the other. Alright, so you both do that, and now that all uh, six have been shot, the uh, gate is now finally open. I'd like to try to give a high five to Rahama for the value of teamwork. It makes the dream work. And hmm, how am I gonna react to this? Um, you better, you better do it. Uh huh. Yeah. Are you going to? Hmm. I'm gonna remember this if you. I'm, don't. Get, I'm gonna get like I'm gonna be not paying attention, get smacked at the helmet, and then be annoyed. <laughs> um, and I am not going to return it because um, number one, my charisma is awful and also um i wasn't socialized to know what the heck a high five is oh my god right. i'm gonna remember this in, in an important moment gold, mm -hmm. gold striker will remember that <laughs> go to our two. Oh my god oh my god so yeah 
Uh, you guys continue to uh, uh, walk around this area, and uh, you see that there is a um, further down this uh, platform uh, leads up to. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, leads up to the interior of the frigates, uh, specifically through this door up here. By the way, the, the, it's supposed to be like through here, but the the map's a little funky. But yeah. Yeah, it's turning a 3D space into 2D. It's bound. Yeah, to happen. it's weird, but yeah. So you uh uh hold on, Gold Strike, go go back here. Not quite yeah. yet. That's a little. Yeah. So you guys, you guys I, walk I over, it. and you see before you a door. Wow. I hear the fireworks here too. Sheesh. Yeah, they are very loud. So hopefully that's not. I hope they're still going at the end of this, because then that would be one. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Well, so uh, Rahama, you are the first to reach the door. What do you do? <laughs> this uh, this blue um, glowing door. Okay, and I've run into these plenty of times, so I am actually just gonna shoot this one. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so yeah, you shoot it, and it just the the blue energy fades, and then the latch just opens from the uh uh into multiple sections from the center, and you're able to walk in. And um, can we say Shadow Farce doesn't walk through enough, and he walks into the door as it closes? Because <laughs> <laughs> I do automatically close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll 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 say that since Gold Striker's like right behind you, you both walk in, and then Shadow Force, you're like you're like looking at the uh, the meteors uh, uh, and the asteroids that are just like floating around, and then you're like walking a little slower, slower, and then you just hold a stormtrooper moment. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was just about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, then Shadow Force, you can. Uh, I mean, if you want, I'm the GM. But you can I might... shoot. Technically, we can't shoot them from the inside open. Oh no, these yeah, we can. You these can. We can. Yeah, so, yeah, they're they're double sided. They're not I'll, the ones I'll that. See, will Shadow Force actually open it, or am I gonna have to turn around and shoot it from the inside? I I I pawed the door like a lost kitten to be let inside. <laughs> and I'm like, oh dear God. Um, and just turn around and shoot it and keep walking. Oh my God! All right, this is a wonderful start. Oh my. God. I don't know why the Federation um, made me have to work with us. I typically work alone. All right. It's because we're the best there is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you guys are uh, walking down uh, um, this part of the docking bay, and Ooh. you see uh, like uh, a whole bunch of lights flicker, and you see these like strange little like uh, symbols just like uh, um, just flow all uh, along the wall. Um, I like to do an. Inv I like to uh, investigate them. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm mean, you are, checking out. You are just like you. You are just poking these things, and you it, like. There's no <laughs> nat one. Oh god. Yeah. No. 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 This is fine. Let's get all the nat ones at the start of the session, so you don't get in trouble later on. It's roll twenty. Never trust. Oh, Never yeah. trust. But yeah. Um. Oh man. So yeah, you uh at first you can't really like think of anything to uh that what these things are. Uh Shadow Force, would you like to uh check these out or are you gonna follow uh Rahama? I have no interest in the paneling on the wall. The wall I'm just gonna proceed. Okay. See when I played Metroid Prime, I was the person scanning literally everything and now I become a speedrunner. I do <laughs> not care. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So All right, uh, I'm gonna join up with the other two. Okay, so you guys uh continue and you guys uh, make your way to uh, once you guys make your way through and gonna have to scroll zoom out a bit so put your tokens at the bottom area like you can just go go to your character sheets you can just drag over well I mean I can't because I um, yeah, you go to the like the little journal thing, and then where it says like it has your character thing, you literally just like hold, click, and drag, mm -hmm. or click, hold, and drag. This took me like three episodes, three streams of Golden Sea to figure out. So don't <laughs> worry. Three streams, okay. Twenty-one episodes. Twelve hours. <laughs> okay. All right, Gold Strikers there and Shadow Force. So yeah, I'm, I'm in journal. I got my mouse on the hunter, and I'm dragging it over like you would like an image, right? Uh huh. Is it not working? Is, is there something I'm missing? 
No, oh, but either way. no, but it, either way, there oh, there are some sometimes that it uh is a bit um funky, so it it's all right. Yeah, roll twenty having, being roll twenty. Yeah, if you have trouble with it, then just let me know. All right, so uh, you guys walk in and you realize that you are in the airlock and as you're walking around you see several things floating some debris some rocks some loose wiring and metal and then some couple of funky little uh insect like creatures yeah um i'm gonna first say uh like as we're walking in keep your keep those helmets closed because i do not trust them to not open them <laughs> i'd like to yeah. close my helmet <laughs> oh, wait, you had it open the whole time <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, basically this is like these are all loose things that are just floating away as you guys are technically uh on in zero G, but um uh like Are these the weird little insect things that are uh like going around the walls cuz I know those are on the planet too. I don't remember if they're in here too as well though. Hmm. Gee, I wonder. They probably are. Uh and You'd like to scan them? You'd like to scan the, um, the insect creature? scan them really quickly. Um, we'll see. You'd like to scan the f the floating insect creature? Yes, please. Do what I roll investigation. Wait. Uh, uh, since it's a scan, it's pr it's a um, uh actually. Oh wait, is this the? Oh, this is just a, is this is just a dead one? Sorry, yeah. I something else. I, yeah. I couldn't see you, it. Yeah, you can. Well. Like, oh wait, that's a, that's a creature. It's floating around, so yeah. Uh, I thought that was a piece of metal for a second. I was like. Yeah, gotcha. if that then that would be an invest investigation check. Yeah. Cool. Investigation check. Uh huh. All right, that's not that good either. Yeah, you like uh you <laughs> you don't really like quite think like what to do with this like what is this like floating bug thing? Oh my god! Right, that, so oh, at least I know it's a bug thing. Yeah. I am actually interested in this one uh because it's um it has to do with a way we could possibly die and I'd rather not that. So, mm -hmm. W. All right. Uh, just a reminder, it's actually investigation, but it's okay. We'll keep that roll because it's a good roll. Don't worry. You can. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! These are loud as heck. Oh my God! They're loud fireworks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am indoors with a headset, and if you guys could hear that, then that that shows how badly that was. Um. <laughs> so you see, like, uh, it, um, the uh morphology of this uh creature. Uh, at this point, your your scanner can't detect what it is. All you know that it is, uh, it died of asphyxiation. <laughs> so yeah, it is a flow. Um, it is that, a, that, re that, that reveals nothing to us. But yeah, um, it is just. And I'm saying and that is why we keep our helmets on. Um, we yeah. don't want to become that. Yeah. Uh, um. I right. asked Raham, I want to ask Rahama what he learned from his scan since mine failed. Mm -hmm. Um. It oh, had yeah, no right. air. Yeah. It had no air. Okay. Yeah, I'll, also, uh, I forgot I'm, that you guys are yeah, uh, actually in this room. Yep. Um, so, anyway, that didn't really tell me anything super useful. So, because um, I kind of figured that, mm. considering we were in an airlock. But um, I'm just going to open the next door. Yeah, uh, the next door actually uh, does not open. There's no uh, glue. Uh, there's no blue glow to it. It is. Locked. Oh, I don't have an image for it yet. Is it the funny missile one? Uh, no, it what is What color just... is the door? What color no, is the door? Uh, there, there is no color. There is no glow gotcha. at all. Okay, no. That would be a red one. Yeah, no. There, there is no okay, glow cool. to it at all. So, like, if you, if you check this image um, at the very back. Yeah, there's And no... I realized I just, uh, there was a panel mm -hmm. that I ignored. Um, and I'm like, uh, Ghoul Striker, can you go back and scan that thing? Um, little circle glowy thing yeah uh gold striker uh, yeah. uh, as rahama is pointing this out you turn to your left and see right next to you there's a panel all right so i would roll perception uh, right investigation actually investigation okay and i got it all right 12. that is a 12 all right nice uh so you check it and it uh at, and then you scan it and it says uh Panel airlock re uh, repressurization successful, and as that happens, you hear some like uh, uh, some air uh, start to like uh, fizz out from some of the uh, um, vents in the walls, and then after a couple seconds, all of the things that are floating just drop. Depressurization complete, and then Rahama mm -hmm. behind you, the uh, door that was locked now has a blue glow to it. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and I am actually gonna now actually open it. Um, okay. And yeah, wash the bug. Um, don't step in it. It's probably mm -hmm. not great, but I do open the door. So yeah, so you open it and um and basically just walk down this long corridor and then there is a uh, another door uh right on uh right uh at the other end. Shadow Force, don't don't Shadow Force, don't fall behind. <laughs> Guys, wait up. He's the one that's just like oh, looking do, do around have, at everything. Do I have the grapple, beam, have the grapple beam yet? Can we say I have the. No, no, you don't. Do, is that all? I was going to grapple him and yeet him back <laughs> over here. I no. did. No. All right. Now, as you guys walk over, uh, so you guys are just greeted by another door. As like this, this uh, area is just empty um, with. Although it just it does show some signs of wear and tear, similarly to the airlock, but there's nothing else of note in here. Mm. Um, is the door still functioning normally, or is uh, it off as well? This one is functioning, yes. Okay. All right, I'd like to open the door. Cool. All right, Gold Striker, you open the door and you go in, and uh, put your tokens on the uh right here. On the bottom left right. corner, and Yoink. uh, wait, huh? Okay, um, little warning: Bongo is joining. So, if you have their uh audio, their call audio on max, better lower Please it. Please put it on fifty for put your it, own. Put, put it. I always have it on fifty. All right, for my yeah. sake and for the viewers' sake. Yes. <laughs> All right. And so. I'm Bongo muted. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't get to see, uh, hear the, the Metron music. I like, I like the music. cool Metron music. Exactly. Though. But you guys walk in and are greeted by. Mm, okay. Um, a massive creature that is. I, I'd like to roll to investigate. And I'm immediately um, just checking out like the area for threats. I'm not scanning anything though. Yeah. Uh, so uh, can I do a perception roll? Yeah. One sec. Hold on. Uh, or, Bongo yeah, yeah. is not working for me. Uh, this is what the heck. Okay. There we go. Bro, this makes me want to replay this, and I don't. <laughs> I, d I just did. Like, all these screenshots, by the way, are mine. Uh, mm -hmm. so yeah, that's, all right. That's cool. So you guys see, all right. So every what is everyone doing? So yeah, you guys immediately spot this massive like creature just lying on the ground, and parts of the 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 uh, ground are like smoldering slightly. Yeah. Now, while well, they're kind of like ooing and awing at that, I'm actually just checking for threats. So, so um, uh, that's a perception, right? Yes. Like if you if you're just looking around, just scanning the yeah, area. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking around. Yeah. All right. So the first thing you see actually is right at the um, right at the underside of this creature. Uh, you can like see it has like this long leg that's stabbing into the ground, and it's not just stabbing into the ground. It's stabbing a space into pirate there. a space pirate. Yep. Um, now it is incapacitated, but I do not care about, uh, killing an injured soldier, so I'm just gonna, uh, attack it. You're gonna, uh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna call it out to them, actually. I'm just gonna fin try and finish it off first. Alright. Can I roll a perception check to see if he does it? Uh, I don't sure. think that's how that works. Um. I mean, um, let's see. I was checking out the creature, and it was right, uh, right under the creature, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, like, right next to you. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I will say that because you didn't, uh, like, uh, because you are doing this, like, right after, you're only able to catch this right as, uh, Raham, like, you, you, uh, you respond to this. You the thing when I was shooting it. Yeah. Uh, when you, I was, uh, looking at it. You essentially, like, respond to this by following the gaze of Rahama's arm cannon to see where, where he's aiming at. And then you see the, uh, space pirate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, how do I make like a standard attack roll? Uh, so basically, 
Uh, that is essentially, uh, you so to make an attack roll, it's basically like a dexterity check. So you base, gotcha. or, or if you either just like click on your dexterity skill in your character sheet, or just roll a mm -hmm. d20 and then add your dexterity modifier. Gotcha. All right. Um, all right. So you do that. Uh, you proceed to shoot it, and there is no reaction from the body. However, you do see do see a few of those uh, creatures that you saw um, in the airlock. You see a few mm -hmm. of them scuttle away from from the body and then retreat into uh, small little crevices. Yeah, it seemed if it wasn't already dead, it was pretty much there. Oh yeah. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna um. Let, I'll see what the other two do first, mm -hmm. but actually, um, I'm like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. I'll just say, oh, they're like looking at me, why did you shoot something? I'm like, oh, spa dead space pirate right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I asked uh... why he shot a dead guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're never sure they're dead until you double check. Gotta it's right, a Schrodinger's corpse. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, just seeing this space pirate, you can immediately, you guys uh, immediately notice that this is an actual space pirate. So the reports of this being a rumored space pirate vessel have now just been confirmed. And to basically so that like you, you guys aren't on top of each other, what we're going to do is uh, even during investigations, we're going to roll initiative. And so basically mm -hmm. that's just another dexterity check. However, with Rahama, you get a plus five bonus. And what that's mm -hmm. going to mean is that's going to be your turn order on who gets to do what. So mm -hmm. everyone just roll initiative, and uh, wow. we'll just do that. Ooh. Is there a specific thing I can click to do initiative that factors in my bonus, or I just need to add the um, 5 to it? There is a way you can add it, although that might be a bit too complicated to explain, so I can just do it myself. Let me just go it's just here. Initiative. Yeah, but, then but I, have got... special, I, have a, I have a special funky initiative Okay, thingy. all right, and then... Oh, because okay. you're all right. Yeah, because he's got the alert feed. Okay, I just added it, so just click on the initiative thing. And that should have the uh, bonus. Uh, where the heck is that? It's, it's next to armor and speed. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. All right. Uh, okay. Ooh. Uh, okay. Nice. Uh, all right. So, um, uh, Shadow Farce, you just saw a uh, uh, the courts of a, a space pirate. How do you react? You know, man, that's that's just unethical right there. He could have had, like, you know, like a wife or like a kid or something, you know, and you just shot him in the spine for like no real reason, man. Putting it out of, I was putting it out of its misery. It was impaled with a giant bug leg. Mm -hmm. uh, what a waste of life. Um, but internally, I'm thinking right now, I'm very much excited. This actually is a space pirate ship because, um, personal reasons. But I'm not, yeah. I'm not letting that on. I'm just oh, thinking boy. that. Ra Rahama is a little trigger happy now. Mm hmm. So, Shadow Force, would you like to do anything else, or are you just like questioning your, your teammate for, for the double tap? I just want to let him know I, I bet he's one of those kids that used a magnifying glass and said ants on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh my do. god. Actually, mm -hmm. you're not wrong, considering right. my childhood. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah. Except the... I was instructed to. Oh no. Uh huh. Yeah, Rahama has lore. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Um, is that all you like to do, or uh, would you like to like investigate, or just like look around, or something like that? No, no I'm I'm good. I, I think my disapproving speech is enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in that case, um, uh, Gold Striker, would you like to do anything? Uh, I'd like to investigate the hole those bugs went into. Um. I'll just say, like, right now, they're, like, very tiny. Like, they're, like, essentially, like, vents. They just crawled into these, like, tiny little vents. Even even Bugs if you... are venting. Yes, they're venting. They're very <laughs> sus. Even if you were to um, activate your morph ball, uh, it would be way too small to uh, traverse. And also, um, to get a better aid for what... Uh, for this creature, how about... Uh, Cause it's looking a little empty right now. We'll just gonna we're just gonna do this. So yeah, this is this is the thing that you see that is impaling that mm. space pirate, and it's actually they're both 
We can do this here as well. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Gold Striker, are you uh, investigating the body? Uh, yes, I'd like to investigate the body of the alien. All right. Uh, make an investigation check. All right. All right. So thirteen. Okay, so your scan is able to tell you that yes, this is a space pirate, and uh, so uh, and its uh text reads morphology space pirate status death caused by a severing of the spinal cord. And as okay, you... so I didn't even kill it, so exactly. the speech is unnecessary. Yeah. Well, that's even worse because then you shot a body like a weirdo. Uh -huh. Oh, it should be the prime pals here. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, making sure I didn't jump out at you as y'all walked over to it. Mm. Um, okay, then my turn. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Do I have a movement thing that is set right now? Or since we're not in combat, Your, does it really matter? Um, uh, we'll say that since everyone's taking turns, your movement per turn is 30 feet, which in this is uh, six squares. Okay, cool. Unless you dash, which then it becomes 12 squares, but then you can't do anything else. Yeah, I'm going to go to, like, right here. I'm kind of hugging the wall. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, let's see. And, uh, actually, since uh, you're at the good vantage point, you immediately notice another space pirate. Uh, let's see. And I'm gonna go, uh... Oops. I'm gonna go to them... Oh, it's just dead? Okay, never mind. Yeah. I mean, it's not moving. Okay, cool. It's just, like, laying yeah. down on the ground motionless. I am actually gonna just scan this one while, um... Mm -hmm. See if there's any... Um, now, is it just lying on the ground, or is there anything I can tell about how it died? visually uh like the not, last one you could tell yeah it was impaled yeah like you can't see anything visually other than the fact that it has like some uh like uh injury marks on its body mm -hmm. gotcha okay i am gonna scan this okay roll investigation all right cool i tend to not scan too much uh because i prefer to rely on my wits more than technology and whatnot but Okay. Well, I don't trust my wits. I rely on technology. <laughs> <laughs> um, trust me, I don't, I don't trust your wits either. So, we can agree on that. Did you put, uh, did you mark, uh, investigation as proficient? Because you should have, that should I be much higher. I believe I did. I'm pretty sure I did, but, um, let me see, investigation. My intelligence is kind of low, though. Okay, all right, let me... It's, um, it is my second to lowest stat. All right, uh, let me just double check that real quick. But, like, still, yeah, I marked it for a proficiency, but I don't know if it did uh, it right. Oh, yeah, it didn't, it didn't. Hold on, I got... I got it. All right, I'll, I'll let Ooh, you reroll okay. that. Okay, cool. Um, all right. I'm going to... Oh, okay. All right, that's all. Oh my god, you rolled the exact same. You rolled eight both times. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So your um, uh, the scanning takes a bit to like fully like uh, understand all the data, but uh, you're eventually able to get a good reading on it. Morphology: space pirate. Status: death caused by acidic burns to body. Chemical type: unknown. Okay. Um, chemical burns. It's interesting. Um, there's not any that can immediately tell from that necessarily, though. Um, all other right. than some accident here might have had something to do with that, maybe. But that's all I can really guess at so yep. far. Uh, in fact, actually, just to keep track, uh, there we go. We got the turn order, and it already marked your guys' initiative. So. Perfect timing. Uh, Shadow Force, uh, now it's your turn. <clears throat> so, can we, just so I understand this, can I get past the big alien and the little dead alien? Like, to, like, straight on? Uh, you can go this way, because, like, there's, like, essentially, there's, like, like, fire, like, a small bit of fire right around here. Granted, you have the Vario suit, so no biggie, but, um, yeah, you can safely walk past this this one space pirate that Rahama uh, found uh, without any issue. Okay, then yeah, uh, I'd like, I'd like to walk here. Okay, uh, and as soon as you do, you notice two 
two more space pirates. However, these ones are moving. So, yeah. that means is it's time for combat. Ooh. Uh, what? Huh? Um, uh oh. <laughs> Nat 20 on the initiative. Oh my god. Okay, and then, okay. That is funny. Okay. Uh, so these guys, uh, so one of them is immediately gonna spot you, and we'll just say. Do that, and, uh, they get the, they get the 22, but since it was a nat 20, uh, that was a critical success, so they get to go first, but this one, the other one got a 6, so, oh my god, they're going dead last. Alright. Unfortunate. So, this space pirate immediately, uh, sees you, and then proceeds to shoot, uh, to shoot at you. 